Okay, let's try that. But, but that's okay. I had it in the wrong, folk, wrong right. setting. So give me your name again. Okay. Nalan Sipar, N-A-L-A-N-S-I-P-A-R. Okay. Now tell me, tell me the reason you're here. Um, I'm working for the German Public T- TV Deutsche Welle in Washington, D.C. And um, Could you spell that for me? Okay. D-E-U-T-S-C-H-E. Uh, w e l l e. Okay, gotcha. Yes. All right. Um, yes, uh, we've heard about this trial here. Um, I mean, as as it happened seven months ago, I was in Germany, and as I'm also from Turkey and with a Turkish background, uh, I was very interested in this. So um, I was working for Deutsche Welle, and uh, I had the feeling that we could cover the story, um, or our correspondents wanted to cover the story, so um, we got in touch with his parents and learned that they will be here too, so we had some contacts to them and um, in Deutsche Welle we will cover about the story in German, also in English, Mm -hmm. and um, we would like to um, report about this trial here, about the gun industry in this state. And so it was a really interesting topic for us, of course. As he is German, um, he has been shot at here in the States, and um, that makes for us the question, how could it happen? How do people here in the States have the right, um, like the Castle Doctrine, um, to shoot just like this to someone and kill a young person? Mm-hmm. And so uh, what has your experience been since you've been here? Well, what have you discovered so far? The trial's barely getting started with jury selection, but just as far as the, the background here in Missoula, the atmosphere that you've, you've encountered. Actually, we arrived yesterday. Oh, okay. And um, as I had the impression from the plane and also here in the town, I have this feeling that it's really a um, closed space here. So I can understand the feeling that people here are maybe more afraid than other dangers, like than in Germany, because maybe there are here dangerous situations, more dangerous situations than in uh, um, Germany and um, I try to understand because it looks so on the other side, uh, on the other hand it looks so peaceful here, you know there are big houses with big gardens so there are, um, yeah, people seems to be welfare no, they seem to have enough money for their lives. It's a fairly prosperous community. Yes, sure. And, um, but um, I would like to understand why so many people are afraid from this extension or from this um, other dangers. Why the, I, I cannot, you know, I cannot understand it why they are so afraid of other things. And as I was in the trial to, today or this morning, I have the feeling that many of them think, okay, it's uh, someone's property, property and it has to be protected by himself. I think we have different uh, meanings from property and what's, what does it mean to protect yourself or your family and how should you deal with such a situation or handle. I think there are really different opinions about these topics and um, yeah, that's the that's my first impression. Do you feel that, that this verdict, whether it's guilty or not guilty, um, will have an influence on how the rest of the world will see America? For instance, if Mr. Karma is found guilty, do you think that the, the, especially the European community would say, okay, well, maybe there's some common sense in America after all? Or if he's found innocent, oh, you know, everything we thought about America was true? You know, I think many people in Europe cannot really understand why so many American people insist to have so much guns or to defend themselves by themselves. Mm-hmm. Because we have, we have another opinion about this. So if he, if the jury says Mr. Karma isn't guilty, he protected just himself and his family, I think many people in Europe will say, but he killed someone, he killed a young man. But and they're saying that already anyway, right? Yes, and I think if the jury says, no, he's not guilty, many people in Europe will think, okay, so there is another evidence for us to say Americans are just like, you know, 
um, just crazy about their guns and their security. They're they're dangerous. So, and they, that will be maybe another point to say, okay, they think in another way than we.